Hey, Brother Wayne uh, Levi Price from Tribulation Saints. Um, oh, sorry. Um, I wanted to. Uh, I heard you talking about keeping the Sabbath, and you said, uh, you said, it was a few videos ago, and you said you got to be careful about keeping the Sabbath, um, because then you start getting into the law and stuff like that, and I just wanted to let you know, brother, that, uh, the Sabbath is something that is supposed to be kept, and it always will, uh, be kept, um, as, as a holy day, and, um, yes, it was established in the Old Testament, but it's going to be kept forever per the, the scriptures. And what it does is it gives glory to God. And every time that, uh, when the God, when God created the earth, the heaven, when he created the earth and all of the angels and all the holy heavenly hosts came around him and gave him glory. Well, every time cycle after so many um, hours or hum on earth, what we call a day, after so many days, um, they all of the holy heavenly hosts go around the throne and give God glory and praise that day. And so when we uh, keep the Sabbath holy, uh, down here, it syncs up with what they're doing up there, giving thanks to God, the Holy Heavenly Host giving thanks to God, and it gives the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit much glory. And so that's, um, um, you just got to be careful, brother, because, uh, you know, you are, um, you know, you're teaching, and so you're going to be held in a higher, uh, to a higher standard. And, uh, that it's, it's also, it's a commandment, you know, we're supposed to, all of the Ten Commandments are supposed to be kept. And if you think, if you think otherwise, um, this is the only scripture that you could really, um, argue that on. And so I wanted to talk about it and expound on it a little bit. Um, this is Colossians 2. And it says, let no man therefore, and you can read it in context. This is Colossians chapter 2. And I put it in KJV because I know you like KJV. That's the one you like reading from. So it says, let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days. Okay. And what I want to highlight here is this word. And I think what it said probably said in the scroll was Sabbath. And the reason why I think that is because a lot of times back when uh, when these scriptures were being made, when they're being written um, in the Jewish traditions and the Roman traditions, there was a lot of days that they were looked at where uh, holy things happened or miracles or supposed holy things happened. And so people would give glory and honor to these prophets or angels or whatever to, you know and so people had these other days besides the the sabbath day where they gave this other entity um whatever it was whether it was from god or not um praise and glory and but it's not like if it was if it was the Sabbath day, it would say the Sabbath day. And that would contradict scripture. That would contradict everything Jesus did and said. And um, I encourage you to, you can go check out this video from uh, Brother Nick Vanderlane. And um, you just got to be careful, brother, because just because there might be... Um, just because things uh, that uh, religious organizations might practice or do doesn't mean that you doesn't mean that everything that they say or do is incorrect or wrong. Okay, so like take for instance Baptists. Okay, 
um, there's there's error in their doctrine, right? But that doesn't mean everything that they believe in is wrong or incorrect. For instance, they believe in keeping the Ten Commandments. They believe in they they believe in practice in a proper time of bapti baptizing a person. Okay, so we can't just say, oh, all religions and all man's doctrine like everything that these major religions believe in and practice is not true because that isn't true because a lot of the things they practice and do is correct and it is true and holy things but their doctrine as a whole is incorrect okay so you have to be you have to in order to do that righteously you have to look at the things that they do correctly that is according to scripture and the things that they don't do correctly you can't just lump them all into one category because that's not righteous judgment okay that would be like if if you applied that to everything to religious entities and organizations and people even then you have to be willing to be judged in that measure with that same measure as well okay so if you do that to a religious organization and you judge them in that way then you have to be willing to accept that judgment as as well okay if not then it's it's called you're you're known in the divine realm as a in the heavens as a hypocrite okay so um that means that every time that you would do a sin or every time that you've done something wrong that means that you would be condemned to um uh to complete death and destruction because that's the same measure that you uh you measured other either organizations or a person or entity so you got to be careful brother you got to really really um look at these things and uh the ten commandments and and keeping the sabbath day holy is something that is going to be in effect throughout the entire millennial reign and it's very clear in scripture that it's going to be um that that's how it's going to be in the millennial reign during the millennial reign which is what we're about to go into we are going to celebrate the sabbath every sabbath and everybody is going to go there um it talks about even uh, people who don't visit, if people don't come up and worship the Lord on certain holy days um, in the new millennium, that God is going to send a curse upon them, okay? Because it's about preparing our vessels for the new Jerusalem and to fill the earth with glory, okay? And so that's so that God can come and dwell with us forever and ever. So I just wanted to let you know that, brother. Um, go check out um you know pray about it obviously and and i really enjoy a lot of your videos um and go check out this video that nick vanderlyn did and i love you brother god bless